In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called factoring a univariate polynomial by grouping, problem type 2. We're given our expression here that we're going to factor, and we're going to factor it by grouping. Since I have four terms in this expression, my grouping is going to be to put the first two together and then the second two together. And I'll start by just rewriting this. And if I'm looking first at these first two terms and grouping them together and I'm asking myself is there anything from each of those two terms that I can factor out and I can see that they both have u's and they both have at least four u's or a u4 that I can factor out of each one of those two terms from this first term this u5 if I factored out four of those u's I would be left with a single u inside the parentheses and if I factored out a u4 from this second term I would still have the minus 2 and if I factored out the u4 then that's going to be completely removed outside the parentheses so I'm left with a u minus 2 inside the parentheses and then for the second two terms only one of them has a u however looking at the numbers I have a 6 and a 12 the greatest common factor here is a positive 6, so I can factor out a 6. And then from the first term, if I factored out a 6, I would still have the u. And from the second term, if I factored out a 6, dividing that minus 12 by 6, I would be left with a minus 2. And now that I've factored out the greatest common factor from each one of those two groups, the first two and the last two, I see that this new expression has something in common as well. They both have this u minus 2, meaning that I can factor out a u minus 2. And from this first term, if I factored out a u minus 2, what would be left? Well, the u4 on the outside would be left. And then from the second term, if I factored out the u minus 2, I would be left with that plus 6 that's outside of that parentheses with u minus 2. So in effect I have factored out the greatest common factor out of the first two and the second two and then I was left with another greatest common factor here the u minus 2 that I could factor out once again.